Yo guys, what's going on and welcome back to another Rainbow Six Siege video and sorry for just not uploading in a couple of days, pretty much maybe a few weeks, I don't really know. But today as you've seen, this is talking about the new Operation Steel Wave. So anyway, we're going to get straight into it and just talk about kind of overall everything. So if you didn't catch the whole live stream about it, I just want to give some basic info about everything. So first of all, the new operators are Ace and Malusi. I believe that's how you say it. They always do some right random names. So now talk about Ace. He is a two-speed operator. He either uses the AK-12 or the M110 114 as the two primary guns and then a P9 as the secondary. He also has a breach charge and smoke grenade as he's kind of like gadgets on the side, like his secondary gadgets. But now talk about his main gadget. This gadget is very, very similar to like a thermite and a mirror. You put it onto the wall, you fire it, it will go on there and it expands and shoots out kind of a mirror whole area, maybe just a bit bigger. And he gets three of these devices. These are called Selmite devices and you're throwable and it just breaches the reinforced surfaces. Now the only way these can be stopped is by the Cade, the Bandits or obviously a Mute Jammer. However, the Mute Jammer doesn't destroy it, it just stops it and as soon as where that Mute Jammer is gone, it will just automatically carry on by itself. So obviously where you had the banner and the thermite, you had to click it again. This would just do it by itself and go straight away. Each charge takes about 12 seconds. So obviously to get all three up, you have to wait about 30, 12 seconds for each one. And that is Ace as itself. Quite a cool operator, very interesting. And yes, he's from Norway, so quite interesting. Now talk about Malusi, she is a three-speed operator, has the T5 SMG or the Super 90, which is either Legion's gun or uh, Frost shotgun, and then has the RG15 as its secondary. Now her device is very, very similar to a Jaeger's ADSs. She gets three of them and everything that goes around, it will just basically take away everything that is there. And yeah, it's really, really weird. Sort of like a Jaeger's ADSs, just takes them away and just takes away everything within that area that you do put it. So it pretty much clears out everything that's going on. This will also slow down people as they are going past, stuff like that. And so if you are going past, it will just slow you down, make it harder for you to move. It won't affect like your health or anything like that or your aim or shooting. It just slows you down, sort of like Clash, and you pretty much just walk really, really slow. And now the new gadget which has been introduced to the thing is the proximity alarm. This will be placed on the wall and as soon as someone does walk past it, it will make a massive noise within the game. And you think, okay, so they're over there. I know where they're going to be and you can just go straight to it. They are breakable and stuff like that, obviously, but still, if you place them in nice hidden locations, which I'm going to be doing as soon as the seasons have come out to help anyone that's doing it, you can literally just go do it, see where the location is, you'll hear where that person is, you know where they're coming from, and this is kind of really handy when it's kind of those like 1v1 situations, so you know whereabouts they are, especially if you're playing Ranked and Bomb. But that's a quick overview of the new characters and the new gadget, which has been introduced to the Operation Steel Wave. Now the next bit is house rework. In the actual background, I'll put some screenshots about everything that's going on, but pretty much what they said is it's normal house, except it's been fully constructed in the construction site with an extension as I've had another kit. So there are four new rooms, two on the bottom and two upstairs. However, the new actual things are crazy. The rooms are just put to them so much more different, and especially downstairs where the garage is, only one of the garage doors you can breach through now. So also they've actually put a gate in the way, so if you try to do the quick fast plant of the bomb and then run away, you can't really cover it because the gates are in the way, so you kind of are exposed. But it's really, really cool. I think they've made house kind of really better. I do like the original house, but I suppose after four years, you do have to change it. It's a fan favorite map, and you've just got to get on with it. So really, at the end of the day, I think they've done really, really well with the house rework. But screenshots in the background, so you know what it looks like, and that was just a quick overview of it. Now they've also done an Amaru buff, so as you know when an Amaru goes into a window, you, know, you can hear her coming and you know the barricade destroys before she does get in. What they've done is destroy the barricade, time off her into it, so it's shorter, so you can't read really pre-fire and kill her, so it's a bit better and it's more OP. You can also go up patches quicker, stuff like that. It's really, really cool and it's all done in one motion and it's very nice, smooth and obviously kind of less like delayed and kind of predictable, so it's really like surprised and you can just get into rooms really quickly and it's more of a surprise instead of knowing when they are coming. Now the penultimate thing is the new elite skin for Echo, they're going to change it, so that is the new elite skin for her, that is the new elite skin for the season, not too bad, pretty cool in my opinion, I like the design, it's kind of anime to link it to the Japanese kind of whole thing, and yeah that is just pretty much it, so it gets a nice little kind of like, kind of samurai suit type thing, it's weird, just look at it, see what you think about it, it's really cool. And then finally, they've done a weapon attachment skins. You will be getting these for free. You get a grey, a black, and a tan one. So you can just go and make your kind of guns look a bit better. So you didn't have those horrible little weird metal kind of looking grey attachments onto your gun, which didn't fit to it. So now you've got black ones, you've got tan ones, or you've got nice grey ones. So it makes them nicer. I think you can just keep it to the normal colour it normally does go to. But yeah, that is pretty much it. And I think, as you know, finally, you've also got the unified MMR ranks. So they've now changed the rank level to 50, which obviously makes it harder for people to buff. Stuff like that, which makes it harder for people to use nerfs, people to have to play the game, and to actually get to champion rank, you've had to have, 
you've had to have to play 100 games within ranked, so it stops people cheating and getting higher ranks easily. So that's just really cool, and that's pretty much the end of the video today. So overview, if you did enjoy, like, subscribe, and apart from that, until next time, see ya.